Formidable Forms lets you collect payments from both Stripe and Square, even if you're using the free version. The best part is that you can see all your incoming payments from all your forms in one place. So if you don't yet have Formidable, grab the light version now so you can follow along with this video. Now, should you use Stripe or Square? Generally, you'd want to use Square if you're already using one of their physical hardware readers to collect payments in the real world. That way, all of your payments are unified and go into the same reporting. To set up Square, click on Connect and then on the first link. Create or log into your Square account so you see the dashboard. Next, create a Sandbox test account by clicking on the second link. Choose a name and a country and click Create. Now this part is really important. Open the Square dashboard and keep that tab open. Then head back to Formidable. Click on the last link, and you'll see a screen asking you to allow permissions. If you see a white screen, go through the steps again and make sure all your tabs stay open. Now click Allow, and that's it. For Stripe, it's just as easy. Create a new account, or select one of your existing accounts and click Connect. To actually collect payments, create a new form. You can either start from a template or create a blank form. At the very least, we'll need a number field and a payment field. Let's make a simple donation form. Change the number format to currency, keep it set to global currency settings, and save the form. Then go to Settings Actions and Notifications and create a new Collect a Payment action. In the Amount select the How much do you want to donate field. Set the payment type to one time or recurring and choose whether you want to use Stripe or Square. Normally, your form would also have other fields like email address and name, which you can map here. But for this video, let's keep it basic and test it out. Because I selected Square, you can see a credit card payment field showing up. And this is the big drawback with Square. Only credit and debit cards are supported with the formidable Square integration. With Stripe, you can go into your Stripe dashboard, open settings, then payments, then payment methods. Click on your default and activate or deactivate any of the numerous methods available. You have Apple Pay and Google Pay, but also a lot more country-specific payment methods like Alipay in China or Ideal in the Netherlands. The great thing is that these payment options are dynamic and show up depending on your customer's location. That's the huge advantage of Stripe. If you have international clients or just want to make checkout simpler and faster by offering Google Pay, Apple Pay, Link, or any other methods, Stripe is the right choice for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to our world-class support team.